All right. Okay, we're rolling. Ready? Yeah. Hey, everyone. We're Two Faces Podcast, and we just wanted to do a couple shorts uh, for some of the Halloween things that we are doing to our home. I decided to uh, change some of my dark, gothy items in the house and the look to it. It it started to get a little too dark, a little too um, mortuary-like. So I decided I wanted to change it up a little bit for the holidays and do a little bit of like a pastel goth kind of look. So here's some of the things that I got. Um, Don't judge me, please. (laughs) I got some Paris Hilton new pots and pans. And to be honest with you, they're really pretty. Like, I, I don't think the color, if you look at them, I don't think the it's doing it justice right now, but um, it comes with the whole set and it has these little do jobbies in there so you can not burn yourself, right? Isn't that what they're for? Or you can stack them too. Yeah, you could stack them all nice and put them down. Um, I don't know. I really like the look of them and the feel and they have like kind of like a rose gold um, on the handles and on the lid. Um, so I just think they're really pretty. So here's the pan. It's really, they're really pretty. I, if, you know, if you're girly girly and you like, you know, your man doesn't care if you have pink stuff in the kitchen, I highly recommend them. So why is this coming off already? Or is that supposed to? Yeah. I don't think they're just to stack them. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I really like these Paris Hilton pots and pans to go with my little pastel goth look. Um, did some shopping on Shein and uh, <laughs> like my QVC guy. <laughs> I got these um, oops, these pillow covers. It's upside down. You just have to get the stuffing for them. But they're really soft and velvety. How do I get it so it goes the right way? <laughs> I, can't, I just can't get it right. There you go. They are also um, a very light pink color. I think the lights are kind of not doing it justice. But I got a couple of those for the couch. And then for the kitchen, I bought um, these little mats. There's three different sizes. So you can put them, you know, all over the kitchen to go along with my pots and pans. So, I mean, obviously, I could switch it back to the way it was before. That's the beauty of decorating but if I get you know out of my little pink uh obsession for like right now but uh, you know it still has that gothy Halloweeny vibe to it that I like and it goes along with you know matches I don't know how masculine it is for was but it is well you know what I really like a lot of the pastel uh Christmas stuff that's coming out now and it really caught my eyes I like to collect mugs so I went to home goods and got a couple of um pastel Christmas mugs so it'll go along with more of like a Christmassy vibe I think for now for that season so I also um got a couple other things so I got these Halloween uh, vintage salt and pepper shakers, which I thought were absolutely adorable. And it's the uh, vintage cat um, if that I don't know if you're my age, but back in the day when your teacher in elementary school would put up those really cute decorations, uh, it kind of looks like that cat. So I had to have them another great find and really cheap. It was they were $8. So I couldn't I had to walk away with them. So just a couple things I bought. If you want to spruce up your house, uh, I don't know how much the pots and pans were. They weren't very expensive, but they're under Paris Hilton. They're about a hundred bucks. About a hundred. And then the rest of the Sheen stuff, I mean, five, six dollars. So overall, overall, I didn't spend too much money, but got some cute things. So uh, Waz got me a present that I didn't really, well, it was a surprise. I really didn't think he would get it, but I had been mentioning that I wanted it. It is Duran Duran's new album. And the cover and the inside, uh, people who love Halloween or anything goth, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. 
So let's open it up so they could see. When you open up the album, it opens into a Ouija board. So if you're going to invite some friends over um, and have some drinks, you could play the Ouija board and listen to some great tunes. When you open it up on the albums, it has some spooky pictures of people um, in a seance. And there is a little book that talks about um, a seance. So I'm going to see that side too. So if you're really into Duran Duran and you like vinyl and you're into Halloween and um, gothic style things, I think this is for you. So let me open this up. And um, there's a bunch of different pictures in here. And okay, so there's a page here that explains what a, a seance is, um, your preparation, and what you need to do to have a seance. And it goes through the steps. I don't want to read it and ruin it for all of you. So, um, so you have something to look forward to when you buy the album. Plus the music. There's some, oh, I, for, I forgot. They also play music. <laughs> but um, yeah, great buy. So 